my cat. Cat doesn't like to talk to the camera. She likes to narrate the shot that she's shooting. Uh -huh. So we're headed to New Orleans because this weekend we are looking at apartments. Because, da da da, what cat? Well, I wonder if they can figure it out. We're planning a move to New Orleans, Louisiana. Oh my goodness. So of all the times I've been to Louisiana, I don't know that I've ever stopped at the Louisiana state line. Wow. That's why I just said all of that so fast. <laughs> So we just stopped for gas in Ponchatoula, Louisiana, and Kat is inside getting ice cream. Josh said I can get ice cream. I don't know that I really could have told her no. Attempt to temper how much she purchased, Kat picked up the kids' cup and just wanted to buy a small. Okay. Uh, that's the kids' cup that's for free. They haven't changed all their signs out here, so they no longer weigh the ice cream cups. So, no. what is this, Kat? They said I could have as much as I want for $3 in this big cup because I had done the kiddies' cup. And they're like, oh, no, 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 you want to do the big cup. And Josh filled up the top with the ice cream. It happened. Did it go from pleasure to torture? It's still good, though. It's good torture. Morning, Kat. Morning. What are we doing? Uh, we're about to go view, I don't even know, you know the schedule. The apartments. <laughs> yes, we are headed to... Uh, Crossings Apartments, I think, yeah. is the first one. Let's go see some apartments! <laughs> so we found out that our first two appointments are actually sister properties. That would have been our second appointment across the street, but um, we actually just toured the sample apartment for both properties. So we uh, killed two birds with one stone. Yeah, and one was like $20 cheaper, so interesting. So we just showed up at our second property a little early and across the street is a horse stable. Um, and apparently we're rather close to the airport and planes fly right over the apartment complex. This will be our fourth tour, but it is technically our uh, like sixth property because other properties were sister properties. Uh, this may also be because of the interconnected creek properties that are over here, like five tours in one. We'll find out. We'll find out. So it is Sunday morning and we are walking to a juice bar. Kat, what did you learn about looking for apartments? It is very trash. Um, it's tiring. There's a lot of apartments to look at. 
That's what I learned. That's what Kat learned. Okay. Why don't we give people our tips for looking for apartments? You're not gonna know what you want until you look at a lot of them. I didn't know I really liked patios, and then like, oh, I like the plants that Josh keeps alive for me. So, Ooh. what did you learn? Lots of things. We'll get back to that in a second. But now, we juice. The smoothie I got is the very, very good. And it's very, very good. Not that this is standard, but they gave us the extra in a kid's cup. Yay! Thank you. And I really don't know how to say their name. De juice? De, de... I think it's supposed to be like a play on French. Maybe. Uh oh. The trash. looking for apartments and when you actually go to view them you're going to learn some things about yourself like oh I actually really like the patio or the balcony more than not having one in my case there are lots of places that had added a sunroom in lieu of a balcony or a patio and I was like but what about the plants that Josh keeps alive for me I didn't know that was that important to me but it is be open to when you go and when you like something, know that that's really important to you and it's okay to uh, to be picky because <laughs> it's gonna be where you live, right? So just keep that in mind and I think that's my biggest takeaway because that was the most surprising thing for me personally. So I'm gonna give you a couple quick tips about apartment searching in a new city in advance um, or really fast. So one, schedule out your day in advance but remember that these people want apartments rented out, and so if you can stop by places at the last second, they'll probably still give you a tour and have no issues fitting you in. Um, bring a camera, because after about the third apartment, they all started to blend in yesterday, and it, don't feel pressured to sign up for something on the spot, because you have time, you need to think, this is where you're going to live, and they really just want you to sign up, so they will offer you bonuses and discounts quick trick that if I had to pull it I would is my name and ID were the ones we used everywhere yesterday and Kat's name and ID could be used in the future if she needed to come back and do another tour and also get the hundred dollar discount for signing up right after doing a tour uh, for the places that offer that type of deal so yeah let me know below if you have any tips for people looking for new apartments or places to live in a city and how you found your last place to stay all right that's all we have for you guys we'll let you know once we've picked out an apartment and of course you will know when we move but we're gonna go explore the zoo bye